vegans, MD vegan, making new guacamole. I have made some. The other day I made a guacamole with a lots of ingredients, like almost a, yeah, like a salad almost. That's only some avocados in there and the rest vegetables, nuts and so. Today I'm making guacamole the other way around, mostly avocados and um, very few ingredients, relatively small amount. I made a guacamole that is only three ingredients earlier. Just avocados, lime juice <clears throat> and um, Himalayan salt, I think it was. It's very simple. Today it's a little bit medium in between. So first I have the avocado, of course. That is, a, it was, I knew, a, six or seven small avocados, you see. <laughs> I buy avocados um, they are small in my, my, my health food shop, or mostly, and then they are very inexpensive and I keep them for some time until they are ripe. And now they are ripe and I can use them and make this wonderful guacamole. It's one of my uh, great highlights. <laughs> I love guacamole in many, many forms, as I said, and um, here <clears throat> is the one with um, just a medium amount of ingredients. I would say a small amount, but it's still, I have here a lot of um, um, avocados and f but the first thing I, the first I put, uh, I do always is I, I mash the avocados because avocados are the ingredients that should be really mashed. Uh, and uh, the other ingredients, <clears throat> not so much, they can have a little texture. You put them together and mash them all together especially we have tomatoes in there and bell peppers and so, then you would make sure avocados uh, to mash them first. Today I don't have um, bell pepper, uh, um, that's so I, I don't need to do that uh, really, but I begin, as always, I mash the avocados with my potato masher, <laughs> see? This is a nice tool also for avocados. It's very easy. And a um, friend of mine, brought an avocado to a, to a potluck and she blended the avocado in a blender. She had a, um, a smoothie, avocado smoothie. Well, I think that is also okay if you want to blend up the avocados. <clears throat> That's very easy. You put them into a blender, you put everything together and blend it. Well, um, I think there are actually as many avocado recipes as their Mexican families, I once heard. Don't know if that is really absolutely true, but they have a lot of different recipes. And I once saw it in a, in a movie, I really saw that they have also these kind of really very runny and almost blended avocado, uh, guacamole. But I never did that before, but here, that's my favorite way to make it. Yeah, this, um, this mash avocado. And I do that because I have these here, especially. I put the, the guacamole on a salad leaf here, make it a wrap, put it on a bell pepper or a crunchy or carrot or so. I'll show you later. But that's, you can't do that with a liquid avocado, the runny avocado smoothie, can, you can't do that so well. So it's nice to take it like this. That's why I'm it. So and this is my avocado mash. I have one red, red <coughs> onion here. I chop it very small and small pieces. That's called mincing almost. When you have very small pieces, you can do it on an extra cutting board. Yeah. Cutting board, this is my regular cutting board. And I, if I cut the, the, the onions here or the garlic, that's not so good because then the flavor of the, of a, of the onion and the garlic is always in the wood. Yeah, and uh, that's not so good because if you have fruit, for example, you cut the fruit here, <laughs> then the fruit tastes like uh, that's not so nice here. So, for this, I have an extra cutting board. I always use here such another one. This is only for garlic and for onions. That's recommended. Just a tip: if you have a kitchen or work in the kitchen, I have just two different boards: the main board, and this is for the onions and the garlic. Yeah, just. If you want to know, <laughs> if you can. So, so that's um, the main ingredient here. The main ingredient here, other, other than the avocado, is the red onion. 
as some from a Mexican um, white woman, she told me that has to be red onion, and since then I take the red onions, and they are a little bit more gentle. Avocado is a um, wonderful fruit, and it's high in fat, and it's super healthy fat, we know from science, and uh, the fat is so nice because you can put all kinds of ingredients and flavors in there. Fat is also something that carries flavors. Every chef knows that. Fat carries flavors. Yeah, that's what they say, the chefs. And it's also with the onion. The onion is a very hot ingredient. You don't eat that much. But in a, in a guacamole, you can put a whole red onion, relatively much, and it won't be unpleasant because it is all uh, carried by this wonderful avocado fat. It's wonderful. It balance also for this onion. So that is also why I like avocado so much, uh, guacamole so much, because you can put the very strong ingredients in there and they get mild. And you have this wonderful effect yeah, and you have this nice flavor. That's one of the reasons for, for my love for guacamole. So the next ingredient is lime juice. That always goes in a guacamole here. I have one lime juiced and I put it in there and I know I can't take too much because the guacamole, the, the avocado, uh, is, um, has a gentle flavor. And the lime can be very strong. And I once did that, I made a guacamole and put too much lime juice. That was not nice. So with lime juice, I, I would, lemon juice or so, you, you have to be careful with, I would say, with, uh, with guacamole. It can easily be too much. So I begin with half of it. Yeah. I leave a little bit to taste it later when everything is combined. But I want to be careful not uh, to spoil it because when you have this pre predominance of lime juice, then the guacamole is not really working. Yeah? It has to be still the dominance of avocados and the other flavors have to play. So it has to be balanced. Yeah? That's, that's the, so, the, the, the short story. So these are um, the strong flavors here. And another strong flavor is um, here. I have a um, uh, chili pepper. It's a habanero. The first time I got it, uh, in my health food shop, I have usually have these long chili peppers, red chili peppers. They're long and thin, and I never had these. And at first, they didn't have it last time, and I always have chili peppers at home. I love chili peppers. But I know the long ones, I know I can use them, how to use them, because they are not too hot. They are hot, of course, not too hot. I can use them. I know exactly what to do with them. But I heard once the habaneros, these are habaneros, they're called habaneros, they are said to be, oh, super hot, and I thought, ooh, careful, I don't want them. But last time, for the second time in a row, they didn't have uh, the chili peppers, only the habaneros. So I thought, okay, I try them now. What doesn't matter, I try now some habaneros. I have three or four habaneros, and <laughs> I didn't touch them so far. Today I said, I want to make the guacamole, and I have only guacamole, uh, habaneros. Let's try. First, I, I cut a tiny little bit from the top. I cut that put it on my tongue and try what happens. Um, not much at first, but you know, with that um, hot stuff in the, in the um, chili pepper, it's a special chemical. <laughs> and it is really a curious thing with that special um, um, chemical that makes it so hot. Because you know, first time you put it on the tongue, it can be just devastating. Yeah? and the tongue doesn't like it, it's too hot. And it, it, is a, it, is a, it is a really a science fact that if you put more and more on the tongue from the same substance, um, the, and the tongue adapts, and then you can eat more and more of the chili pepper. And people in Mexico, they have really tons of different <laughs> chili peppers, they have all kinds of them, and they are really great at using them. And they are chili pepper eaters, and so I, I don't, I don't know. A friend of mine lives in Austria. He's the same. He loves pepperoni and chili peppers. I have. He loves them to eat them with the food. He always brings them on, on, a, on a journey. He has some little bag, and here you can have it. And I eat, and he loves it. In his own garden, he grows them. Um, so um, I tried it. Yeah, tasted. It. I didn't taste that much. I ate it then, and then all of a sudden, I t began to taste. And as you saw, it tastes a little bit smoky. 
It has a different flavor from my chili pepper that I was used to, the long ones. A really different flavor, like wood more, yeah. a smoky, like coarse flavor. I don't know how to describe it, a dry flavor more. The red chili pepper I knew is completely different. Yeah? Of course, they are all hot. They are like chili, you know, it's hot. <laughs> burning like fire <laughs> but but this one has a really uh, own a flavor note yeah it is like a like a wood or like a like a smoke yeah? smoky flavor I don't know you have to try it it's nice and then what I did is I opened it and I cut it into uh, I seeded it it's not a big one and I cut it into very small uh, thin stripes here and then I put the stripes all together and cut them into uh, crosswise so you have now these small pieces and that goes right into my guacamole I think it adds a nice smoky hot flavor and um, I think it adds nicely to the guacamole I will see I will taste it later and this here are four or five cloves of garlic you know what I do with the garlic I cut it into small pieces crosswise, lengthwise, and then I have these small pieces. And then I put some salt on top. Yeah, this, I have, this is my Himalayan salt. I put the salt on top of the, of the garlic pieces and take a fork and then I press the garlic uh, with the fork and the salt. And you know, the salt has crystals, you know, and the crystals, they cut into the garlic and mash the garlic with the fork. And then, of course, the salt mixes with the garlic, the liquid comes out, and then you have this. It's pretty nice mashed garlic. I like this, this way to use the garlic. It's not um, totally mashed. It's with a fork, and the salt um, scratches and cuts it even smaller. So I have already mixed the garlic with a little bit of, of, of salt. Salt goes in there anyway. So I have now four or five garlics, clove garlics, with a little bit of salt and one habanero uh, uh, chili pepper and um, I will have put uh, maybe a teaspoon of salt but I will wait until I taste it because I can always add, add some salt because there is some salt already in the guacamole with the, uh, with the garlic so maybe there is enough already so, though the salt can be a little bit more yeah. Of course, you don't want to over salt, that is, that is not nice, of course. So there I have now all my ingredients, uh, save one, uh, for my guacamole, and that I'm doing now is the pine nut. Pine nuts are something uh, very, very nice, and it's expensive, you know, I don't have them always, because I hold small amounts. I'm lucky when I find a good, inexpensive um, pine nut, but they are amazing for guacamole. Yeah, they have a very nice flavor. Pine nuts taste like a pine tree. <laughs> have a very strong flavor, but it's hidden in this in this buttery, uh, uh, gentle nut flavor. It's folded in this buttery, fatty flavor. Makes it very gentle, and still there's a strong flavor coming through, a strong character, and that makes it so nice. You if you eat the pine nut for a while, you chew on it, and the flavor comes out like a like a tree, like a tr like a needle tree. That's evergreen tree. Other they are really. I love pine nuts, um, and they are so soft, and you can put them easily into a guacamole. They add a wonderful note to the whole guacamole, and that's nice. You know, the guacamole or the avocado, the, the fat and the creaminess. They combine all these flavors, all these very characteristic, strong, different flavors into one new flavor. So guacamole is like a painting. Yeah? Um, it's a very nice and easy way to make new flavors, very strong, but still very pleasant, not too strong. And I guess the pine nut is, um, is a very nice character for this plate. So I put it, the pine nut also into my guacamole. I cut it into small pieces because um, it should combine well with the other ingredients. It should not stand out too much. I want to have all more or less into one um, impression altogether. I don't need the mesher now. I take a fork for that. Because the other ingredients, as I said, I don't want to mash the other ingredients. I just wanted to mash the guacamole. For this I have a fork. A fork is a very helpful tool in the kitchen. It can do a lot of things. Um, 
Yeah, that works. I see what I wanted to see, that the avocado is still the main ingredient. That's what I like. This should be a center, a guacamole center of the avocado. And the other ingredients should just play by to make that new flavor, as opposed to the last guacamole I made. There was that, the, the avocado was more in the background, yeah. Uh, one of many ingredients. And here it is more like a guacamole where the avocado is the first and the main one. Yeah. Um, there's still a lot of other ingredients, yeah. the, the ratio I mean, but clearly the avocado is the main. That's yeah. You see all the color, it's a green, clearly green main color. I'll show you in a moment. But the other ingredients are are there too. Yeah. Behind the avocado. <laughs> yeah. I never tasted this one before. Every avocado, every guacamole, you make it, you make it in a new one. It's a whole different experience again. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait. Now um, I want to combine everything evenly. Yeah, because um, that's nice to have the ingredients really um, nicely um, combined. Still, the, uh, the texture is there, it's not liquid. I can still use it with my crackers or uh, with my um, vegetable chips. Let's see. Um, so that's good now. I will taste it. I will taste it and see if I put some more salt and lime juice. That's good possible. That's very well possible. <coughs> Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful. Mm. One more. One more time. I can taste the lime juice. I can taste the salt. But sometimes one needs to be a little bit more brave and <laughs> courageous to really get the right seasoning. So I'm not sure now. I have to focus now a little bit. Do I need more salt? Can it do with more salt and lime juice? Let's see. My inner feeling says clearly yes. Can. So one lime is in there with the rest here. That will make one lime juice together and the salt too. One more teaspoon. Mix it again. Combine everything and I taste it one more time. Oh, it's wonderful. The other ingredients here are so nice together together with the avocado, I tell you. You don't want to miss that. So wonderful guacamole. I can already tell. And if you put a little bit more, less salt, it's not that important. We have these wonderful flavors, the onion, the garlic, the chili pepper, the habanero, the pine nuts. Yeah. Everything is in there and plays really nicely to the whole. One more, one more taste. Mmm, 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 so nice, oh yeah, now with the salt, the lime has a stronger character, it really speaks, it's a very expressive flavor, and the habanero, now I know, feel it, plays so nicely with a pine nut, it's a similar flavor, habanero, with that hard to describe to me, new flavor of smokiness, wooden, woodenness, that plays so nice with the pine nuts. Also a very strong characteristic flavor. You gotta try it really, it's amazing. So what I do now here, that's what it looks like. That's what the, my guacamole looks like. Like a perfect guacamole, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Many put, put cilantro into it. Of course, that's very nice. Yeah, I didn't do it now. Put the guacamole onto a salad leaf, like this, a little wrap. Yeah, it's a perfect food. 
I could eat that now, but I won't. <laughs> I will I will be speaking all the time. I can't speak all the time with that in my, but that would be a nice way to serve it. Or the same here just with a <clears throat> you know with a with a bell pepper also would be a nice a nice way to enjoy the guacamole <coughs> right away. Wonderful make, way to make a meal. A lot of vegetables, a lot of avocado. That's super healthy and um, satisfying. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Make your own guacamole. Surprise me. And maybe you like, like my video, subscribe and leave me on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Mmm, the flavor opens up. That does the chili pepper does that so nice after eating. Mmm, it's all in the mouth and very nicely so. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.